For game development, people usually use established game engines like Unity, Unreal, Godot, and programming languages like C-sharp, C++, and even Lua to some extent. On the other hand, JavaScript is mostly known for being used in web development. So it might appear as an odd choice to go with JavaScript. So why make games in JavaScript? Are there even good games made with it? And finally, where to start if I want to make games with it? Let's answer all of these questions. Why make games in JavaScript? While it's definitely possible to make 3D games with it, it's mostly viable for 2D. Here are a couple of reasons why someone would want to use JS. Reason number one. They're a web developer wanting to use the same tools they're used to to make games. The learning curve for something like Unity, Unreal, Godot, or any other game engine is higher for that individual. They have to learn a new UI and a way of doing things and sometimes even a new programming language, which will take longer than starting a new JavaScript project with some JS game making libraries. Some libraries available offer so much that they're basically headless game engines, so you don't have to be reinventing the wheel while making your game. We'll explore some of them later in the video. Reason number two, the ability to make an MVP and easily distribute it on the web. So MVP, minimal viable product. So if your game gets popular, it becomes trivially easy to use the same code base you did for the web demo, I guess, for the final game and wrap it into a desktop app or even a mobile app. Since JavaScript is the language native to the web, Usually your web games are going to be well optimized and run well on all browsers. In comparison, Unity web exports are oftentimes sluggish, which leads to a lower quality user experience. Reason number three, freedom to structure your code base how you see fit and write certain things from scratch if you want to. Also, you don't have any fees to pay a game engine. Now that I've given three reasons why you would want to use JavaScript, Let's show some actual examples of good games made with it. Game number one, CrossCode, made by Radical Fish Game with JavaScript and the Impact JS library. CrossCode, lasting around 35 hours, is a technically impressive game because it demonstrates that you can indeed pull off complex 2D stuff in JavaScript. So if CrossCode is possible, then something like Stardew Valley or Sea of Stars or any complex 2D game is possible. Game number two, Vampire Survivors. One of the most famous games of 2022 was made in JavaScript with a Phaser 3 library. What's impressive is the huge number of NPCs and other elements that are displayed on the screen when you get far enough into a run. While they had to move to Unity due to the mobile performance of the game not being good enough, the original developer Ponkel still develops new features in JS that are then re-implemented by his team in Unity. So there might be some kind of advantage. Let's say he's comfortable in JS. So what's important to keep in mind is that the game got popular while the game was made in JS and the change to Unity was triggered by the need for a performance mobile version. So especially Vampire Survivor, which has a lot of stuff going on, on the screen, it might not be a good fit, especially because JavaScript on mobile is less performant than on browsers, on desktop browsers, because I think just-in-time compilation is not allowed on mobile. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Game number three, Game Dev Tycoon. So this is a very successful game on Steam about being a game developer, which demonstrates that there is nothing stopping you from making a successful game in JS. While the game isn't as technically impressive as the others, it's still one of the pioneers and the first example I can think of that was made in JS, so it was dating back to 2013. In light of all these examples, are you now convinced you can make good games in JS? If yes, let's answer the last question, where to start if you want to make games with it. There are many options you could go with, but I've limited them to three so that you don't get overwhelmed. Option number one, use the Phaser 3 library. Phaser is the library used by Vampire Survivors. It, it offers a lot out of the box, like uh, tile map loading, physics, and much more. It's the most fully featured library out there I can think of. However, the documentation is a bit hard to follow, and if you do Google searches, usually we'll find results related to Phaser 2, which is now obsolete instead of Phaser 3. 
But if you're motivated and can read documentation, I think this is a good choice. Option number two, Kaboom JS, which is newer, and it's the easiest library to use in my opinion. It offers a component system where you create game objects with pre-made components, and you can even create your own components. So it's newer compared to Phaser and less performant for the time being, but it's still in development. And I like it a lot so much that I've made a couple tutorials on it on my channel. So if you're interested, feel free to watch them. Now you can also load maps from an external editor like Tile, but you have to write your own code for it. Now option number three is Excalibur JS, very promising, seems to be a phaser successor. It offers a tons of feature, but however, it's still under a version 1.0. So things might change a lot between versions. I haven't tried it up personally, but yeah, that's uh, the third option I've came across that is that fits into a fully featured library that does the physics, tile map loading, map loading, etc. for you. So really explore on your own uh, those three, three choices and make a decision on what you will learn. That's about it for me. I just want to remind you that game dev is mostly an art also. So you can make great games with about anything, any tool, as long as you have good ideas and you know how to play with the constraints of your tool. So my channel is centered around JavaScript game programming. So if it's something you like, please consider watching my other content and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.